What up? This is Carlos King, and you're watching the Taj Lajano Show. Wake up! God damn it. The Taj Lajano Show. Wake up, goddammit. Hey, another special edition of the Times Show. We back at the 2023 Shane Magazine Awards, and I'm sitting here with a visionary in television, reality TV, Carlos King. How you doing? I'm good, brother. How's it going? Good. I told you, man. Hey, when I saw you, I said, oh, if I don't get him, I'm in trouble. <laughs> well, we don't need no trouble tonight. No. So, um, you've done a lot of work in reality TV, in the, re in the reality TV space. What is something you would have liked to do done differently or more of in your journey? Listen, I think for me, I appreciate the fact that I opened up a lane for smart black professionals to have a producer who's able to create shows to not only showcase their lives, but their businesses. So that's something that I learned throughout my journey. And I'm happy that I was able to continue that effort with Love & Marriage. Huntsville, D.C., Detroit, Bell Collective, and I want to do more of those things. Yeah, Huntsville was one of my favorite shows. It's the best show on television. <laughs> I have not had a chance to watch it, but we I watched, uh, I think, first couple. D.C. or Detroit? D, no, Huntsville. I think it was Huntsville. Huntsville. Yeah. yeah, it was Huntsville. Because yeah. that one, they, you know, they had like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got like, and I'm looking to actually speak with, uh, I just, yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, in producing these shows, what is the one thing that you look for to know if the content will be a hit or not? I look for talent. So when you look at Huntsville, for example, you have Melody Holt, who is a star. God created her to be on television. So you look at a talent and then you create things around them. You know, like how Matthew Knowles created Destiny's Child, right, with Beyonce in mind. So that's what I do when it comes to my show. So I look for talent and I look for people who want to be able to give their real lives to the world, because it's not easy. And I'm happy that I have a group of people who are so transparent, so vulnerable, and they make my life easier doing that. What's been one of those challenges with uh, getting people to express their personal life on TV? Social media backlash is one of the biggest challenges when you're working with talent on reality television because people judge them and they could be mean and feel like they know you. So it's, it's unfair treatment that my cast get courtesy of that, but they are able to they're able to, in the midst of everything, they're able to rise above the hatred and focus on their endeavors and wish the reason why they did the show in the first place. Your advice with, to uh, <laughs> your, <laughs> your advice to up and coming uh, creators? My advice to up and coming creators is to put God first and don't give up. Your age is a number. Don't let your age define your destiny. We're not all supposed to make it by the time we're 30. <laughs> One more question. Unrealistic. <laughs> One more question. Three keys to success. The keys to success is keeping God first. It's keeping God first and blocking out the noise. Literally. That noise too. <laughs> but blocking out the noise and keeping God first because he's able to take you on a journey that dreams are made of. Carlos King, Taj Lantern on show. Shane Magazine Awards. Wake up, goddammit. All right. Wake up, goddammit.